Today we're going to be reviewing Guns of the Dawn by Adrian Tchaikovsky. Guns of the Dawn by Adrian Tchaikovsky is a mixture of two genres, namely Regency era kind of romantic comedy and Regency era Napoleonic War fighting military fantasy. This is a really clever combination because basically you have a Jane Austen protagonist going on a Napoleonic adventure, which is really fun. It was fun having a female protagonist going off on an adventure and going to fight. I've never seen anything like that before. So Guns of the Dawn is military fantasy of the Napoleonic bent. It is flintlock fantasy, meaning that they use flintlock guns. Napoleonic or Jane Austen fantasy, Regency era fantasy, Alternate history vibes, but not really. It doesn't take place on Earth, but the setting is sort of like England, and the enemies, enemies are sort of like German, but they're not. Doesn't take place on Earth, so it's not. Uh, there's a badass female protagonist. She's a tough fighter, but she's also very ladylike and she's very kind, and I liked her. It is adult, but I think anyone 16 plus can read it. However, there is attempted sexual assault as a theme in the novel, so just be on the lookout for that. If you don't want to get into that, don't read it. I read a lot of military fantasy. I read a lot of flintlock fantasy. I even read some Regency era fantasy stories. I am in this book's target audience, meaning I am inclined to like this sort of book, and I personally gave this book five out of five stars. So if you are like me, you might like it too. I thought this book was fun, it was clever, and it was well written. Similar books would be Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell by Susanna Clark, The Glamorous Histories by Mary Robinette Kowal, Sharp's Tiger by Bernard Cornwall, uh, His Majesty's Dragons in the Temeraire series by Naomi Novik, Master and Commander by Patrick O'Brien, and the Shadow Campaign series by Jango Wexler. Okay, if that sounds interesting to you, maybe check it out. See you around.